Their lives were changed forever. It's been three years now since their teen was hit by a post office van in the city's old northeast, and they're still grieving. A federal judge yesterday awarded the family of Tony White Jr. nearly $3 million. Fox 4 Sean McDowell talks with their attorney who says money cannot ease their pain. We are really happy that, that this part of that process has come to an end for the family. Those who knew and loved 15-year-old Tony White Jr. will never get over his loss. Federal court documents show he was hit by a United States Postal Service van on July 1st of 2020. White was riding his bike near East High School on 20th Street at the time. A police investigation found the driver, Chenille Barnes, was on the phone at the time of that deadly wreck. The teenager died at the hospital. They had expressed numerous times that they were really looking forward to having some closure. Amanda Blackwood is an attorney representing White's family members. On Tuesday, a federal judge awarded White's parents nearly $3 million. Almost $1 million of that judgment is to cover their medical and funeral expenses. $2 million is awarded for their pain and suffering. A judge ruled against the Postal Service in July. The outcome really reflects, I think, both um, the, the tragedy that happened and it's also an acknowledgement that something was done that was wrong and an acknowledgement of the loss that they've suffered. A spokesperson for the U.S. Postal Service told Fox 4 News on Wednesday they'd have no comment. Over the past three years, the Postal Service and White's loved ones attempted to settle this case out of court. But as Blackwood says, it became obvious the case would need to go to trial to reach the outcome the family sought. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.